All right, in this video, I just want to do one more example. And in this case, it's going to relate to the supplement of an angle. So suppose we know our angle uh, y. The supplement of this angle y is, is, is got a measure of 12x plus 4. And the complement of this angle y has a measure of 6x. And we want to know what's the measure of this original angle y. So what we're going to have to do is simply make a little system of equations here. So we know if we take the measure of angle y plus uh, the measure of this other angle, which has measure 12x plus 4, we know that those are supplementary. So when we add those together, that's going to equal 180. And again, we'll assume things are in degrees, but I'm going to leave off the little, the little degree uh, circle. And we know that the complement of this angle y we know that the complement of this angle y, which has measure 6x, well, that means if we add y plus 6x, that's going to add up to 90. So now we've got just basically a little uh, system of uh, linear equations here. And all we have to do is just go about, eventually we want to solve for y. But the way I'm going to do this is by doing a substitution. I'm going to take my second equation and simply subtract 6x from both sides. So that'll give me y equals 90 minus 6x. And now I'm just going to take my first equation, and I'm simply going to plug in the fact that y is equal to 90 minus 6x. Plus, we've got 12x plus 4 equals 180. And now I've got just a nice little linear equation involving only x. Um, we could basically remove the parentheses. I mean, if you distribute, there's a positive one in both cases. So we can simply remove the parentheses. And let's see. So we've got um, 90 plus 4 is going to give us 94. We have negative 6x plus 12x, so that'll give us positive 6x. That equals 180. We can subtract 94 from both sides. That'll give us 6x equals, what's that, um, 86. And it looks like if we simply divide both sides by 6, we'll get x equals, uh, let's see here, so 86 divided by 6. I'm getting 14.3 repeating. And I think I'm just going to round this off to 14.3. Okay, so we now know what x equals. Uh, we simply wanted to figure out the value, uh, the measure of our original angle y. But we know what y is here in terms of x. We know that it's 90 minus 6x. So now to simply figure out uh, this, this measure of angle y, we just need to plug that in. All right, so we know that y is 90 minus 6 times x, but again, we're rounding off x to be roughly equal to, we said, 14.3. So let me just plug that in real quick. So 14.3. Let's see, so 6 times 14.3. I'm getting 85.8. And now if we simply subtract, uh, so if we do 90 uh, minus 85.8, that's going to give us 4.2. So we can say that our original angle y must have had measure roughly equal to 4.2 degrees.